As Sil Tang boarded an elevator in New York City this month, a woman pulled up the corner of her eye in a familiar gesture mocking Asians. The woman then launched into a coronavirus tirade, she had stayed at home for a year and done everything right, yet, a foreigner, gave her the virus. Tang's anger rose as she found herself in that well-trodden crossroad faced by anyone targeted because of race, gender, sexual orientation or religion. Stay quiet, or say or do something and possibly risk an escalation. For many Asian Americans, from immigrants to fifth generation, incidents like the one Tang endured have been an all too normal part of their lives. Usually not rising to physical attacks but feeling at times like a window into a deeper well of hate. Now, a recent spate of attacks against Asians, punctuated by the mass shooting in Atlanta last week that killed eight people, including six Asian women, have put a spotlight on more mundane incidents of bigotry. The verbal harassment happens in elevators, restaurant bathrooms, taxis and public sidewalks, thrusting victims into a situation for which there is no playbook. Do you make a joke of it, laugh it off and try to make the moment end? Silently walk away? Explain why the words were hurtful? Tell the person off? What if, as in videos captured across the country, the encounter turns violent? Inside the elevator, others chimed in and said that COVID had been brought here. Tang decided to say something. I would like you to know that I'm vaccinated, said Tang, who wanted the woman to hear that she spoke English fluently and without an accent. I wasn't going to get into a fight in an elevator with this woman, but it was very clear to me that in her eyes, I was a foreigner, Tang, 48, who is Chinese American, said later. Tang, the author of a world affairs book, has endured racist incidents on a weekly basis, even before the pandemic. Once, a group of tourists pulled her out of a cab while telling her to go back to squatting on the ground in my pajamas in China. Another time, a woman shoved her off a subway train onto the platform and called her a derogatory term for Chinese people. Countless times as she walks down the street, men have shouted, me love you long time, ching chong ni hao, or, konnichiwa, and then, when ignored, followed up with expletives. A month ago, a woman spit on her in a restaurant bathroom, saying she didn't want to get the coronavirus. I think you take it incident by incident. You try to assess whether it's worth it to fight back, whether it's worth it to say something, Tang said. I have yelled back at racist slurs on the street. When people say things to me, especially if they assume I don't speak English, I have some choice words for them. But to respond every time would feel akin to living in a constant state of combat.